Pythagorean triplets. It is about finding those three numbers, the three whole numbers, a, b, and c, such that a square plus b square is equal to c square. Or in other words, these three numbers, the set of three numbers, it follows the Pythagorean principle. And hence, it takes the name from that, from the Pythagorean theorem, that a set of three numbers that follow Pythagorean law is called Pythagorean triplets. Now, as we recall, the Pythagorean law can be explained by a right angle triangle in which if there are two dimensions of this triangle A and B, these are the dimensions in which two line segments are perpendicular to each other. The third segment, which is the C, which is the diagonal of this triangle, follows the Pythagorean law in which this property of Pythagorean triplet holds true, meaning the square of two sides which are perpendicular to each other is equal to the square of the side or the square of the diagonal all right for example if i take one of my pythagorean triplet is 3 4 and 5 in which dimension a is 3 units b is 4 units and c is 5 units these three are whole numbers right and using the pythagorean principle i can say that 3 square plus 4 square is equal to 5 square and we can check right here that 3 square is 9 4 square is 16 and 5 square is 25 and we also know that 9 plus 16 makes 25 correct so this satisfies the pythagorean law right now the question is this is one example in which we know all the three numbers right most of the times you will not be given all three numbers sometimes we are given a problem in which we know only one of those three numbers such as either 3 or a 4 or a 5 okay we don't know all the other numbers but we are supposed to find based on that specific problem statement we are supposed to find what are the other two numbers okay so the method for that is pythagorean triplets they will always follow this principle in which one of the number will take 2m the second number will be m square minus 1 and third number will be m square plus 1 where m is any whole number okay that is crucial for this triplet to hold this property okay m is any whole number in that case, we can find the Pythagorean triplets to have these three numbers in this form, okay? So let's see how it works through some examples. So the first example I have is find all the three numbers in a Pythagorean triplet if one of the number is three, okay? So this is a mistake, it is is, it is three, okay? Now we know that Pythagorean triplet, if one of the number is three, that either two m is three or m squared minus one is three, or m square plus 1 is 3. One of these three numbers will be equal to 3. So let's start with 2m and equate it to be 3. If we do that, we find that m will be 3 over 2 and that cannot happen because we want m to be a whole number, right? So this won't work. So let's try with the second one, the m square minus 1. m square minus 1 is equal to 3, which leads me to this equation that m square is equal to 3 plus 1 that is 4 and that implies that m is equal to 2 okay so now this satisfies now i can find a whole number m such that m square minus 1 is equal to 3 okay so if that works then all i have to do is now substitute m is equal to 2 into this equation or into this method that will give me my three numbers so the first number will be 2m that will be 2 times 2 which is 4 second number would be m square minus 1 which is 2 square minus 1, 4 minus 1, and that would be 3, right? The third number will be m square plus 1, and that becomes 2 square plus 1, and that would be 5. So my Pythagorean triplet based on this method is 3, 4, and 5. And yes, it does satisfy this statement that one of the number is 3, and we have the 3 right here. The second example is find all three numbers of a Pythagorean triplet if the smallest of the three numbers is six okay so if i look at my general form of three numbers it is 2m m square minus one and m square plus one okay now think about this that the statement says the smallest of the three numbers is six out of these three numbers which one will be the smallest of three it could be either 2m or it could be m square minus one we don't know yet for sure right but it will be between one of these two m square plus 1 is definitely going to be bigger than m square minus 1, right? So this definitely is not the smallest, right? So between these two, we have to pick which one is 6. So
so let's try first 2m 2m is equal to 6 if we go with that method that means m is equal to 6 divided by 2 and that makes m equal 3 so this works because we obtain m to be whole number this method right but just for the sake of example let me try the other method as well so that i equate m square minus 1 to be equal to 6 if that would be the case then m square would be 6 plus 1 which is 7 but i don't think we can find a square root of 7 to be a whole number so this this number definitely would not work so sometimes you have to explore between one of these two which one would be the best number for us to work in this equation right now since m square minus 1 equals 6 does not work so i'm going to erase it for now all right and then make some room for the other calculations now i have my number m is equal to 3 all i need to do is now substitute this m into these three numerical expressions right so 2m will become 2 times 3 that will be 6 m square minus 1 is equal to 3 square minus 1 and that becomes 8 m square plus 1 is equal to 3 square plus 1 and that becomes 10 so my triplet is 6 8 and 10 okay and of course we see that smallest number is 6 that also satisfy this problem statement so in this case basically we will pause here and we will say that the general method of finding a triplet is when you are given one of those numbers is equate that given number to one of these three numbers and solve it recursively until you get to your solution. So this is about Pythagorean triplets.